This is a Photoshop video tutorial about spotting. Spotting is a term used when referring to removing spots from an image. Uh, in general, this is the first thing that's actually done with an image. In this case, this is just a raw picture that was uh, taken. And uh, when someone calls it spotting, it means that you kind of go in and remove any of the initial obvious spot problems that may have occurred within the image uh, due to a dirty lens or reflection or something like that. I mean, something very quick, very easy to correct. So I'm just going to go up here and make a new layer. And I'm going to name it Spotting. So when doing this, make sure that you're on uh, Current and Below. And select a spot to clone and just kind of go at it. So basically all you're really doing is moving it around and removing some of the most obvious uh, blemishes within an image. Um, in this case I don't want to remove every one of these every one of these streaks of white. But in general if there's anything that's kind of obvious that doesn't look right I will go in here and I will remove. Uh, in this case this image has all these uh, streaks going in these directions except for this one which is going up and down. Uh, because obviously the picture was taken through glass. So I would go in here and just kind of do what I could to uh, remove the most obvious of it. And again, this is totally about what's quick, easy, and obvious that might be uh, a distracting blemish. So uh, again, it's something from the lens, it's something from the uh, some dirt on the street, or who knows what. But in this case, that's literally all that there is to do on this image. Often when you're doing it, um, depending on the size of the actual image, you may go up to 100%, 200%, even 400% and uh, go through here and find these fine uh, blemishes. If I really didn't want that, then I'll come up here and remove that. Um, but when you are this close, just pay attention to the fact that you might actually be adding more damage to the image by spotting. And when you're actually done, you may have all these round circles all over the place of uh, distorted uh, gradients. So just be careful with it. Uh, but generally, when it is done properly, you would start in the top corner or a bottom corner, whatever you want to do, and just go in a very linear fashion, going from top to bottom. I'm just going to zoom out so I'm not taking forever here. And then zoom from top to bottom, and then when you reach the bottom, grab the corner, move over to the side, and then come back up again, making any corrections as you go slide it over and then go back down. So essentially you're going across the image in a very zigzag methodical pattern so that you don't actually miss anything. And then when you're done, you can turn it off and then you can see all these little changes that you made all over the image. And by keeping it on a separate layer, it will stay on that separate layer. And uh, if you ever notice that you made a mistake, you can just erase it and make the change again or whatever the case is so I'm looking at that I see that so now I did say uh, I, I came in here and I did all this with the spot tool but with the clone tool but you can just go up here to like you know, go over here and use the healing brush and again make sure you're on the current and below you know and just go through the image and do what you need to do if you found this video tutorial helpful, please go to www.theartofretouching.com where you can find more tips and tricks to make you a better retoucher.